This video sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to Effect for You channel. Today we are going to create Venom movie style title animation like this. So let's get started. First today sponsor message, design your project better and faster, with Envato Elements, get over 5 million stock assets and ready to use templates for your next project, create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentation, photos, audio file, and more. All this come with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. I also get my subscription for a couple of years, get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements, and start creating today. For more detail find the first link in the description. As usual, first we need to create a new composition. This is our main comp. Then create a new black solid layer according to comp size. I call this background. Now create a new composition. This is our BG comp. Now here I have some elements. So drag the BG image into the timer line. Select the layer and hit T for opacity, and change the opacity around 20%. Now go to main comp and drag the BG comp into the timer line. Select the layer and search motion tile effect. Change output width and height around 200. And check mirror edges. Now search turbulent displace effect. Decrease amount around 30. Hold alt key and click on stopwatch icon. And type time into 10. Here you can see the turbulent effect. Cool. Now search curves effects. And make your curves like this. Now select ellipse tool. And make a circle like this. Change fill color white. Now search fill effect. And change the fill color dark bluish color. Then apply Gaussian blur effect. And increase the blurriness. And change layer mode normal to add. Now animate the opacity. So hit T for opacity. Hold Alt key and click on stopwatch icon and type wiggle expression now duplicate the shape layer decrease the size little bit and also decrease the blurriness also decrease the opacity around 30 percent and change layer mode screen you can adjust the color, according to your choice. And also adjust opacity. You can also adjust the bottom circle center of the comp, like this. Now create another new comp. This is our text one comp. Select text tool and type your text. Now go to main comp. And drag text one comp into the timer line. Select the layer and search glow effect. Change glow radius around 30. 
and glow intensity 0.8. Cool. Duplicate the text one layer. Then go to project window and create new comp. This is our text texture comp. Drag the texture image into the timeline. Select the layer and search curve effect. And make your curves like this. Drag the text texture image into the timeline between text one comp. Select the layer and change track matte alpha matte. Select top text one comp and delete glow effect. Perfect. I think we need to adjust the BG curves little bit. Now here I have lens footage. So drag the footage into the timeline. Change mode normal to screen. Resize the footage little bit, and adjust corner of the comp. Now select pen tool and create a mask like this. Open mask property, and increase the mask feather. Also increase the mask expansion little bit. Cool. Hit T for opacity and decrease the opacity around 70%. Now duplicate the lens footage. Decrease the size little bit, and adjust corner of the comp. And change layer mode normal to soft light. Cool. You can adjust the text glow effect according to your choice. Perfect. Now we need to add some dust particles. So drag the dust particles image into the timeline. And change layer mode screen. Here you can see white fade outline, so select the dust particles layer, and search curves effect, and make your curves like this. Move the layer corner of the comp. And convert into 3D layer. Go to 2 view horizontal, and move the Z position little bit back side of the comp. Now duplicate the dust layer. And adjust XYZ position little bit. Again duplicate the dust layer and adjust them. Similarly, duplicate the dust layer multiple time, and adjust them. Also move the some dust particle left side of the comp. Select all the dust particle layers, and change scale around 40%. Now adjust them. I am skipping this part so that you don't have to wait. Perfect. Now create one more comp. This is our media one comp. Drag your footage into the timeline. Go to main comp, and drag media one comp into the timeline. And move few seconds forward. 
Now search hue and saturation effect. And change master saturation minus 100. Here you can see. Cool. Now drag old film effect footage into the timeline. And change mode normal to screen. Also move the lay a few seconds forward. And also change the opacity 20%. Perfect. Now create new camera. I am using 50mm camera preset. Hit P for position. But before animate the position, make text and texture layer as a 3D layer. Now add a keyframe on position, and move your Z position back side of the comp. Then go to few frame forward, and move the Z position, little bit front side of the comp. Then go to around 6 to 7 second forward, and move the Z position little bit front side of the comp, so that we can get continuous movement effects. Select all keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Now select the BG comp layer, hit R for rotation, and add a keyframe. Then go to around 10 second forward, and rotate 10 degree. I think we need to adjust the camera position keyframes. You can adjust the keyframes according to your choice. Perfect. Select all layers and pre-compose them. This is our scene 1 comp. Now create scene 2. So duplicate the scene 1 comp layer. And move forward around 4 to 5 seconds. Now go to project window. Duplicate scene 1 comp. Hold ALT key and drag scene 2 comp over the scene 1 comp in timer line. Now open scene 2, and replace the media 1 comp. Go to project window and duplicate the media 1 comp. Hold ALT key and drag media 2 comp into the timer line. Similarly replace the both text 1 comp layer. Now open text 2 comp and change your text. You can change your media footage, but I don't want it right now. Now create a null layer. Convert as a 3D layer and parent camera with null layer. Now we need to animate the scale. You can animate the scale according to your music. So go to few frame forward, and add a keyframe. Then go to one frame forward, and change scale 90%. Then go to few frame forward, and add a keyframe. Then go to one frame forward, and change scale 80%. Then go to again few frame forward, and add a keyframe. Then go to one frame forward, and change the scale 70%. Cool. You can change the font size according to your choice.
perfect. Our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. So please like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. For more tutorial, I'll see you in the next video.